One of the most fun beaches in the Tampa St. Petersburg area is on Treasure Island. It's also a beach community. Today, follow me on a trip exploring Treasure Island. Now we're across the street from the Sun Coast Surf Shop, a liquor store, and down the road is the Florida Shell Shop, a great place for souvenirs to bring back home. Required stop to Treasure Island is to visit the Florida Shell Shop. It's been here since 1955. I think we're gonna be in for a treat. All kinds of cool shells. There are a lot of nice public beach access points here on Treasure Island Beach. Look through the grasses, the dunes, and you see the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. Hey, it's a perfect beach day here on Treasure Island. I see a playground. I see some maize and blue beach umbrellas. Very University of Michigan. And feel the 50s vibe of the Suncoast Motel and Apartments. Further north is the Billmar Motel. Right is the Beachside Palms. Look at that bright yellow retro hotel. Further north are smaller hotels as we approach the main junction of Treasure Island. And one of the local institutions here is Ricky T's Bar and Grill here. Ricky T's. No pets please, but they have a very popular menu and a lot of live music. This is going to be a great day to enjoy the beaches here in Treasure Island. Perhaps one of the nicest hotels in the Treasure Island St. Pete Beach area is the Billmore Beach. It has probably a, I would estimate, a good 600, maybe almost a thousand feet frontage along the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. Decent beach report today. Fine waves, perfect sun, great conditions to come out and hang out here in Treasure Island Beach. See a lot of umbrellas, cabanas, chairs that you can rent. Not too crowded yet. I like the water. However, I think the sand's a little bit shelly. Now we're walking along this beach here in Treasure Island, north, probably about five miles from uh, Clearwater. I like reading a newspaper or some novels here on the beach. Now is that fun or is it exercise? Look at those boat participants getting some exercise at a fast rate on a windy day. And those are the cops on the beach with the red and blue sirens looking at the fast golf cart. I wonder what they're going to do or if they're going to arrest anyone. One of the newer resorts here is a residence inn by Marriott. The site takes advantage of the beautiful views of the Gulf of Mexico. For your location, they have these colorful mile markers to help you from getting lost. And now we're passing a couple of mom and pop resorts, Sand Dune Motel, a couple of cottages. There's also a beach access on the left hand side. The living in Florida is getting stuck in traffic jams on the way to the beach. Here, like most parts of Florida, Treasure Island is no exception. Look at the drawbridge going up to let some large boats come through. Now it looks like a journey is continuing. The drawbridge is starting to close. Now we're approaching Madeira Beach, just north of Treasure Island and south of Clearwater. And here's a lovely view of the pass here. Hubbard's Dolphin Watch Boat is looking like it's ready to sail. And here we are walking along John's Pass. We're approaching the Boardwalk Grill. There's a Hooters here. It's along the water. There are places to rent boats. This place is called Scully's. It looks like it might be kind of interesting, but I think we're headed more towards uh, Caddy's today. Now John's Pass is a lot of souvenir stores, live music, places for burgers, wings, you can go deep sea fishing here. Looks like they're setting up for some live music today. I like the tropical lemon, melon, and dark green hues as we walk along this strip of road here. And another surf shop full of 
swimsuits, suntan lotion, and souvenirs to bring back to your folks back home. This place looks lively. I like it, all the chimes and all those wind shear stuff. And there's even a free beach ride service if you call a special number that can be found on a few directors here. Right now I'm waiting for a ride leaving John's Pass to go to Caddy's on the beach. Up on the left hand side is the new public store. There's a lot of nice condominiums, old fashioned mom and pop stores. They do on the weekends. Usually they have like a one to three band person playing with the seeing a strip of public beach. There's also a snack bar here. Coming up next is the Billmar. Now we're passing Treasure Island's landmark Billmar Hotel. I love the pastel color. We're also passing a public beach and several older 50s and 60s motels. Hopefully last. There's a big demand for condominiums. Here we are at Caddy's on the Beach, one of the best beach bars here in Treasure Island. It has an authentic feel. I believe it's been here since the 50s. It has a young crowd, live music today. Some of the local character of the Treasure Island is slowly being eroded by new modern condominiums and single family homes. Here's another beach bar called Kaz Tiki, directly across from Caddy's. Let's see what's going on here. There's no shortage of beach bars here in Treasure Island and Sunset Beach. Here we are at Kaz Tiki, Sunset Beach. Very casual, very Hawaiian, very hip. Passing Treasure Island Sunset Vista Park. You can't really park any cars here, but you can park bikes. And here's the Moby Gulf Motel, visitors parking and fishing pier. Look at these old cottages. I can really appreciate the retro architecture of the beachside palms. I like the bright yellow marigold color. There are some older retro places north as we approach the main junction, 104th Avenue. Across the street is Gulffront Park, site of a lovely public beach. Straight ahead is the Belmar Hotel. And to the right is a brand new Publix. Look at everyone here enjoying the beach. Wow. I hope you enjoyed your visit of Treasure.